Hey guys, welcome to a new tutorial. Um, I haven't been making some videos lately, but I'm planning to make some new episodes. Um, in this tutorial, I will be explaining the basics of setting up an IceCast server, and I will be making more episodes that will be more advanced and I will add some new features every time. As you can see, I already made an IceCast server. In this tutorial, um, I assume you guys already have some Linux knowledge. I will be using Debian in this tutorial. Um, but if you don't have any Linux knowledge, don't worry, I will explain the commands I use. Um, so you can also just run the commands and set up your own web radio. Alright, so in this tutorial, I uh, will be uh, setting up a VPS. It's a small virtual private server. As you can see, this is a VPS. I will be using DigitalOcean. They've got some great um, droplets, they call it. You can pay a monthly amount um, and you can run basically anything on it. So I will just, yeah. All right, so as you can see, I already uh, made a droplet, but for this tutorial, I will just make a new one. So I will give you a link in the description, which um, is a reference link. And if you use the link to make an account, you will get a free $10 discount. So you can run this $5 a month droplet for two months for free. You just have to use my link and make an account. All right, so first of all, when you've made an account, logged in, um, make a new droplet. Um, I will be using Debian. You can use basically Ubuntu or Debian, but I like Debian. Um, version 8.7. Use the $5 dollar a month amount because it's plenty. Um, you can basically run a lot of things on this droplet. Um, and choose the closest data center near you so I live in the Netherlands so I choose Amsterdam basically we don't need anything to do with this um, I will make an SSH key later on in another episode how to secure your droplet but for now we will just call this IceGuess server you can choose you can name it anything you want all right once you create the droplet it will take like a minute or so it's really quick um, and then you will get an email in your mailbox with the login information to log in. In this um, droplet, you need to have like an SSH client. I use Putty, as you can see. I will just close this one. You can download Putty for free online. Just search Putty, and you will get the link. All right. So I will use Putty. You just have to fill in the host name, which will be this one. So copy this one, hit open. Now you will get, uh, it's not running yet, but you will get an email in your uh, mailbox with the connection info. I didn't get it yet. So I'll just show you the IceCast. Basically, IceCast is free software so you can run your own web radio. You need some pre requisites, which we will be installing first. And then you need to build and install the software. Pretty simple basically, but I will show you how to install it. Wow. I'm just waiting for the email right now. And as you can see, I already had a web ISCAS server running, but I will just destroy that one for now. You can easily destroy droplets if you want to um, make more droplets whenever you want. Okay, I think I got, I should have got the email right now. Yep, there we go. So you'll get an email which says, um, which gives you the server IP. So just open putty, fill in the server IP. Now click yes, they're asking for your trust permissions. Um, and log in as root. So hit enter. Now it's asking for your password. Um, you should copy paste this password. How you paste a password in putty is you just use your right mouse click you won't see anything but just use your right mouse click once hit enter 
Um, now change it, so paste it again. Choose new passwords and hit enter. Now you won't see the passwords just for the security. Um, this is an icecast, I mean an um, putty implementation. Alright, so now as we can see, we need some libraries. Now, I made a command for you, uh, which I will put in the description somewhere. And basically it installs everything so it just checks most of the time you've got curl installed ready but it just checks if you've got curl installed um, it will install the lip forbus lip xslt and the development package now if you hit enter you will see that it will also install some other packages like lip ogg etc we need these as well so just hit y hit enter and it should start installing all these libraries now once these prerequisites are installed um, we will install the icecast server so uh, what i forgot when you um, connect to your server for the first time always do an app get update so it just updates all the uh, resources where you will get your packages now do an app get upgrade why so we'll just upgrade the packages that needs to be upgraded like open SSL uh, lip SSL etc um, and then run this but it doesn't really matter just do it the first time you connect to your server now before we can uh, build and install icecast we need a C compiler Basically the C compiler configures the software source, um, it makes the install. So to install the C compiler we will install build essential. You will see a lot of packages, just hit Y and enter. It will in install these packages and after that we can just install Icecast. Alright, so let's find the icecast link. As you can see, if you click download, you will get the icecast tab over here. Now, hit the right mouse button and copy the link address. Now, as you can see, oh my bad, it's done installing the um, C compiler. Now we will um, download the icecast server source. So W get and then the link you just copied. Oh, I didn't copy it. So hit enter, copy the address. Now do W get and as you can see, it will download the icecast starball. There we go. Now we basically you should do this in the temporary directory. So go to cd temp, move the um, icecast. Well, I'll just remove. Don't do all these commands. Okay, now go to temp. W get the ice gas package. Do it in your temporary directory. Um, and unrar the package. So tar set xf. Yeah. And then ice gas. Now basically, you don't have to fill in the whole name of the folder or anything. You just enter a small amount and hit tap yeah then hit enter and as you can see if you do ls you will see that we've got the turbo and we've got the extracted folder now now go into the extracted folder and the only thing we got to do right now is as you can see configure it make it and make the install now you can find more about um, building software like the magic behind configure make make install it's pretty simple you just configure the package with slash configure as you can see it will configure the icecast source now make and then at least do a make install
Now, as you can see, um, it's done um, installing the ice cast. All right, so now once it's installed, you go to with CD user local share ice cast. And as you can see, it installs all the packages in here. So the admin, the dock, and the web. Now what we want is to move the IceCast folder. So as you can see, we've got the IceCast in here. We want to move this to our opt directory. So MV IceCast to the opt directory. Now go to the opt directory, IceCast. As you can see, it's all in here. Alright, now we need to make a configuration before we can run it. So we'll just do a simple configuration. Uh, first we will make a logs directory so it can put its logs in there. And then we will edit the configuration. So config conf slash icecast.xml dist. We will just change its name first so mv slash icecast.xml now you basically just renamed icecast.xml.dist to icecast.xml now edit the icecast.xml and as you can see it's got some configurations in here now what I want to change first of all is the directories so as you can see it's got a base there um, and it's got some web and admin uh, root directories. I'm not sure if this. I'll just change the log directory to opt slash icecast server slash logs. Hit Ctrl X, hit Y, and hit Enter. Now. As you can see, we've still got this name, and we want to call it IceCast Server. So we'll go back to the op directory, change IceCast to IceCast Server, and as you can see, it's got the IceCast Server now. Now, if we go to the IceCast Server, we should have the configuration done. We change the name. The only thing we need to do now is add a user to run it. So add user. A user ice guest. Yeah, so hit the give it a password, doesn't really matter for now. Hit Y and own the directory of IceCast server. To the IceCast server. So we'll just own the directory to IceCast. Yeah. Now go to change to the icecast user. As you can see, we change from root to icecast, and we will go to the icecast server. And as you can see, it's got all owned by icecast. So now to run the server, we just hit icecast, and you can see it's got some options. Yeah. Now we need to specify the configuration file. So to do that, icecast c conf slash icecast.xml now as you can see it's basically running on localhost the location is not configured so it's default earth and the admin contact not so it's default ice master now if you go to your IP so you got your IP before on your email of DigitalOcean or you can check it in your console just copy that hit it in there now put the port 8000 behind it and you can see it's running. So that's basically it. Now we've got our, our IceCast server running. In the next episodes I will explain some more about security and how to um, put your IceCast web radio on a website, how to connect to the IceCast server to stream radio, files, all that kind of stuff. So see you in the next time.